Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Sailhead is a non-for-profit organization that takes wounded veterans out sailing as a form of therapy. Today we're at Centerport Yacht Club. We have over 50 boats that will be going out and uh, over 300 participants today. The object of today's sale is to spread awareness for PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. For those of you who know uh, this 22 a day statistic, that means that uh, 20, at least 22 veterans a day in the United States are taking their own lives. The first veteran we ever took sailing was from the Vietnam War era. When we got back on the beach, he was so incredibly thankful and happy. He was crying. He gave us all hugs, so naturally we started crying as well. And uh, he said he thanked us so much. He proclaimed that that's the best therapy he's ever had. It was at this point really when we realized how much of an effect uh, sailing can really have on veterans. Uh, I work for the town of Huntington. I'm the uh, director of maritime services, and I'm also a commander in the Navy Reserve. And um, I got wind of it, no pun intended, that they were holding this event. And I was asked if I would be willing to uh, bring my boat along and uh, have veterans on the boat. We'll be able to gauge very quickly what their experience is on the water and what they're really looking for. If they're just looking for an enjoyable day of sailing, we're not going to hit them up with a lot of technical stuff. Um, if they're really interested in knowing about sailing, then you know, we'll explain you know, what the main is, the jib, the tiller, the rudder, you know, how the boat moves. I was with the Army for three years, three months, and 20 days. <laughs> I do have PTSD. Today I get to go out there and relax, but I'll probably help with the jib because I'm starting to, um, I'm training on sonars, so I'm learning to sail. Nothing bothers you out there. It's just like you're in another world and forget about life and everything that's going on in the world and everything that's gone on in your past and everything else. So it, it's amazing. It was my first time going on a sailboat last year. It's an amazing, it's an amazing thing. See, that's what PTSD is. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm a veteran with PTSD. I've served in the military, um, active duty and reserve uh, combined 31 years. I can't even speak um, enough on how wonderful it is for me. It's uh, very relaxing. I think even my blood pressure <laughs> went down. <laughs> so, January 69 to November 71. It, it makes you feel good about yourself and about everything. If, if you're part of the crew, it, it gets you to use so many mu of your muscles. And a sail ahead is one of the greatest organizations around. Uh, I'd just like to take a moment today to call to mind two friends of sail ahead who are not able to be with us today, but they are in our thoughts. I'm a veteran, a veteran of the United States Air Force, 1966 to 1970. Our military is coming home with lots of problems in, uh, in connection with uh, getting back to civilian life, making that transition. I, I've seen it a number of times. Uh, veterans who come back from these trips tell me that they're fully refreshed, their minds are cleared. It's not a cure, but it, it definitely helps. And we'd like you, Bruce, to have this so that you can have your son, you can carry your son with you as you ride. Sean and Killian are very passionate about their desire to help veterans, and it shows. We didn't even graduate when I was involved. Didn't even. We're, we're still in in high school. Is amazing in, in itself. Because when I came here today, I was looking for this guy Killian Dulay, and I expected him to be, you know, maybe somebody in their 50s or 60s. And I finally, I had passed him several times. I just sort of dismissed it. Oh, he couldn't be Killian. I saw him wearing the gray shirt. I was shocked, and uh, some of my crew was also shocked, and they all whispered to me, oh, is he like 17 or 18? But uh, it's really to his credit that somebody uh, that young could put something like this together. It's the most gratifying thing to see that there are kids that actually take pride in what they do. It's, it, it's great. <laughs> 